Hello, my name is Gavin Burcham with Twin Tobacco. Today's video is going to be about how to fix a tight pipe stem that you just can't deal with. Okay, every time you're about to smoke a pipe, you do this mental dance. You're looking at your pipes and you go to reach for one. There's a bunch of things that go into your head. Which one smokes the best? Which one looks the best? Which one's the most comfortable? Which one is gonna be you know, easy to clean when I'm done smoking? And depending on those variables, you actually choose a pipe to smoke. So right now I'm smoking my IMP Meerschaum pipe. I've been smoking the hell out of this thing. I really want it to color quickly so I seem to just smoke it all the time. But I have a few other pipes that are also great smoking pipes and I love them. The problem with one particular pipe is the stem is too tight. The pipe that I'm talking about is my Peterson in a billard shape. It's probably my most beautiful pipe at least of my briars. It's got beautiful straight grain, it's got beautiful bird's eye, and it even has some flame grain. Flame grain is basically straight grain that's actually popping out at an angle. So it has a, a display of all the types of grain you want, and it's a perfect size for me. It smokes well, it looks great, and I never smoke it because the stem is just too tight. So every single time I'm reaching for it, I start thinking about, ah, oh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to clean. So I did a bunch of research and I found an option that I'm willing to try. One YouTube channel that I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a link in the description. It's called Briar Blues. I forget the gentleman's name, but he recommended that you put some unscented bar soap on the tenon of your stem. So as you can see, this is, this is not, twisting that easily. It's almost impossible to get off when it's warm. So right now it's pretty cold. It's winter time here in Seoul and it's a little bit easier, but it's still by far the hardest of all my pipes to get the stem off. I'm going to put some bar soap on this tenon. Hopefully that will smooth things out and make it a more enjoyable cleaning experience. If this doesn't work, I will have to resort to getting some sandpaper. But until I try the bar soap, man, this is tight. I don't want to break the shank off. So I'll do this. Hopefully it works. If not, sandpaper is a second option. All right, without further ado, let's dive into a closer look. So as you can see, here's the Peterson pipe. Stem is on. And here is our unscented bar soap. This is very, very dry. Let's begin. So first I'm going to take off the stem so I can get to the tenon. Put that there. Now I'm going to take some of the bar soap and I'm going to rub it on the tenon. I'm going to go all the way around. There's some dust but that's okay. We're going to wipe the dust off in a minute. So I'm making sure there's lots and lots of soap. Okay. Now I'm going to take this paper towel and I'm going to wipe it. Definitely get some out of there. Don't want to be smoking it. Okay, now let's see if it goes on smoothly. It's definitely smoother. It doesn't make any popping, cracking noises anymore. Here, I'm gonna do another round. Let's wipe this off. Oh, let's try that. It's definitely better, but it's still a little tight. So I hope you found that tip useful. If your pipe stem is a little tight, I would definitely recommend this method because it definitely works. However, I still think this is too tight. So I'm going to go to plan number two and I'm probably going to get some sandpaper to finish this off. Hello again. We have just witnessed movie magic. So I filmed the first part of this video about two weeks ago. Since then, I went on a lifelong journey, did some yoga, discovered meditation, became an enlightened being, and then was quickly corrupted all over again. And I speak to you now, a very similar person to what I was two weeks ago. Anyway, strategy number one did not 
quite work enough. The bar soap did help smooth things out a little bit. However, I think we need to resort to the second option, which is sandpaper. I got some 320 grit as well as some 1000 grit. So the higher the number, the less abrasive it is. So the 320 grit sandpaper is gonna do most of the work and the 1000 grit sandpaper is gonna smooth things out. And if I need to, I'll use a little bit more of the bar soap to really smooth things out. Without further ado, let's get this pipe stem fixed and then we can start smoking. So first I'm going to use the 320 grit sandpaper. I can get it off slightly easier now that I've used the bar soap, but still too tight for me. I'm going to be careful to sand as evenly as possible. I'm just gonna pinch it and then I'm just gonna twist the stem. That way I know it's evenly sanding on all sides of the tenon. So I'm not gonna do it a lot. I'm gonna be very careful with the 320 and then a little bit with the 1000 and then I will test it. Now let's try it. Ooh, that's easier for sure. Still too tight though. All right, let's keep going. Easier. I wonder if we put a little bar soap on it now and then have another go. See if this smooths it out enough that I don't need to sand it anymore. I might just roll with this and then after say a week or so of smoking, if I still feel it's too tight, then I can always come back to this. I think it goes without saying, it's better to have a slightly tight stem than a slightly loose stem. I hear if you have a loose stem, a good way to make it fit better is actually, instead of using bar soap, you use beeswax. I have never actually had that situation occur to me. All my pipe stems have fit perfectly, except for this one. I think that's okay. I'm just gonna use my, my t-shirt to wipe this off real quick. All right, let's give that a go. Oh yeah, that is nice. Boom, perfect. That is beautiful. We have achieved our goal. It's still firm, but that is, that is great. Okay, so success, ladies and gentlemen. All right, as you can see, I put a softy bit on the Peterson. A good way to make your clinch more comfortable with a straight pipe is just throw a softy bit on there. So pipe is smoking beautifully. It's Friday night, whiskey is poured. I'm enjoying this pipe. So that was only a $3 fix. And because of it, this pipe is going from probably my least smoked pipe to probably going to be one of my go-to smokes every day. I hope you found that video enjoyable, entertaining, and hopefully educational. Please feel free to give us a thumbs up and a subscribe, and don't forget to check us out on Instagram, and stay tuned for some more videos. And with that, keep enjoying your tobacco, people.